just word. from judging by how you act like when you're excited now in the bedroom when you get excited you're super cool too Ugh. in the bed what do you think that you're great in bed oh my back to sex this is me giving out the, the g in this youtube video. i'm gonna tell you something let me tell you something that you don't hear people men say on the internet they don't know what they're talking about they don't have the experience they, they're not really into the shit they're not the sensei of seduction like taekwondo let's 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 get in there we're gonna i'm gonna talk some shit real quick so you know how these men on the internet go oh you need to have a a, a big dick you need to have a, a, a big size dick and all that and oh if you nut fast and blah blah blah, blah. Where are we at perfect size for you, madam? I like about eight inches. Fuck. All right. Fuck. <laughs> but you want to know what they don't talk about? You want to know the one thing you don't hear them say or never talk about? How about the women that come fast? Huh? How, how about that? How, how about that? How, how about the women that come faster than you? You? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you didn't know that though, right? Oh, you didn't know a woman can come quick. Oh, you didn't know she could come fast. Yeah, welcome to the dojo, baby, man, have no fear, Taekwondo is here, man, listen, y'all kept asking me and telling me, react to this Brent Fires lip service interview, and I'm like, I didn't really understand it at first, I was like, why would I, you know what I'm saying, like, I do react to interviews and stuff like that, but it just seemed random to me, right, by the end of watching this video, I'm telling you, I'm gonna give you the, I'm gonna get this right now. Viewers discretion is advised. This is not for the young members of the dojo. These, this is for the guys that's trying to have her spamming you with paragraphs, begging, begging the fuck again, and obsessed with you, thinking about you all day and night, living in that head, rent free, three, three bedroom apartment, two bathrooms, nice little kitchen and all that. This, this, this is for the slayers, man. My, my demon time guys that send a duty demons to Dooney land in the back of the Dooney van, straight to the gulag. We're gonna really get into the cheat codes today, man. The cheat codes of sex, seduction, all types of shit, man. Burnt Fire's gonna give our free game, even all the women in this circle. These demons. These, 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 these. Demons. I'm saying but listen these demons i'm gonna just let the video speak for itself i wanted to get y'all that introduction so y'all know what's going on free game with brent fires lip service by angela lee let's go man 230k pack in the air that's gas to what big dojo in the building baby <laughs> first of all cheers to you everybody's been waiting to find out when this album is coming out so july 8th is the date july 8th mm -hmm. wasteland yeah i'm excited I could tell. <clears throat> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> He's always like, he never seems excited about anything. I be chilling. I'm excited. Yo, the dicky into... <coughs> so the, the, the clip I saw, the dicky in took place in, 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 the, in the first 30 seconds of the video? Bottom. Yeah, let's focus at the bottom. Internally. Okay. Yeah. What is that like? <laughs> Okay, I'm weird. jumping around and shit. Inside, inside. inside. Yes, inside. Okay. <laughs> it Bottom feels right like right just right. from judging by how you act, like when you're excited now in the bedroom when you get excited, you're super cool too. Uh, in the bed. What? 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 Oh no, she hitting deep, man. She she is horny. Yeah, I be cool now. I gotta let it out somewhere though. I feel like I'm calm throughout the day so that I can let that shit out when it's time to. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about oh what you've had going God. on. First of all, we love the song Wasting. Oh, would you say that you are kinky? In time. Appreciate you. So do you um, feel like you waste women's time? Yo, you might as well, <clears throat> you might as well ask, for, ask him for his bath water. It's crazy um, talk so about salesmanship. I be selling shoe cleaner kits out PA at the Willow Grove Mall. Come check me out sometime. I'm currently going to school for cyber security and web design and development. I want to bring solutions to your problems. <clears throat> W2K1, W2K1. Only if they time won't be wasted. Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> You're not playing. Nah, uh-uh. 
I mean, I feel like if it's casual, it's, you feel me, wasting time. When I said wasting time, like what I meant on the record, I was really just on some like um, fake love shit, like wasting time if you kicking it with somebody, you know it ain't really finna go nowhere, but mm -hmm. you wasting time because you just like spending time type shit. Right. Is that really a waste of time? Nah, but it's just, it's cool to say though, because yeah. it has a negative connotation, so I like just flipping it. You like mean, that? To me, a vacation. You feel people me? be like, he's like the um, toxic. <laughs> well, I don't feed into that shit. Right. Does that bother you at all? Um, I mean, it's, it's kind of what it is. Whatever get people listening and shit. That was not my intention while making these records at all. Mm -hmm. But if that's what people take, it's kind of like I was just making it be honest. I thought I was being sweet. And then I put this shit out, motherfuckers, like, you toxic. I'm like, damn, I guess so. He said I thought I was being sweet. <laughs> and I was being nice and shit. <laughs> Have you ever thought you were wasting time with somebody yeah, and then ended up in a relationship service. with them? Fuck it. All the time. See, that's how it starts. Yeah. All the time. Like, that's always that, how it go. You just yeah. having fun. You get lost in that shit. That's what I was gonna say. It's not really wasting time. It's getting to know the person, and then once you get to know them, yeah. Time time it's good time. to see she got like her own yeah. podcast because you need to And what are some things that you? I, always, I told you this. I feel like wow. you're a little bit of an introvert, or a lot of bit of an introvert. A little bit. Mm -hmm. So, um, have you always been like this, or is this just like I just I just be chilling for real. I wouldn't say I'm a I'm an introvert. I, I gotta watch the her in the interviews, bro. It's no way this is like normal, bro. Or extrovert. I'm kind of wherever I need to be. Mm -hmm. depending on the it's no way this this amount of mm -hmm. sucking is just normal. I know if bro. I'm out and I'm around a whole bunch of introverted people, it is. I try to be oh, okay, okay. So this this is just her, like oh, okay. She usually just be like talking to during the interviews like this. This is a normal conversation. Oh, all right, 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 because right, I don't right. want to be around a whole bunch of stuffy motherfuckers. Okay. And if I'm around and everybody's talking, I'm not finna just talk just to talk. Like I'm finna let everybody get their shit out. W and I see your, um, of course, your Sonder tattoo. So uh, let's talk about Sonder a little bit because we know you from that as well. Oh yeah, Sonder's the band. Mm -hmm. That's the band I, I came up with, Sonder. Um, the meaning behind the tattoo is Sonder's the, the realization that every individual passerby got their own life up, just as vivid and complex as yours. So everybody that you meet or come across. Got their own shit going on, their own place they just came from, own place they going to. So like, that's why I inked it. Mm hmm. Gigi, you just distracted me with that. Sorry. That's song. There. Everybody got their own shit going on. <laughs> <laughs> Can we bring that up here for him to sure. see? Sure. For Brent. I wonder if you're too cool to use something like so this. So on lip service, we give away pussy. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. What did y'all recommend me to watch? And how can I get here immediately? <laughs> I'm finna see what it's hitting for. Are you the type of person who would just try something to try it? Yeah. Like something like that, like why not? Like fuck it is there. Like ain't nobody around. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. <laughs> When they go hurt. A little bit Jesus of ice. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. Warm it up. Get it right. Now, you also <laughs> have this song, Price of Fame. I want to ask you about that oh, because yeah, your star has been rising. Like, I feel like just every year, more and more and more. I remember when I first heard about you and then seeing where you are right now. So, the song, Price of Fame, feels like it's more about not necessarily a positive thing. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's just it's highs and lows, you know what I mean? The good and the bad. Um, I think. Every uh, we're in this space, I guess, with with Which media and entertainment, where everybody and their mama want to be famous for some shit. Mm -hmm. um, I think everybody don't necessarily know what come with that. I never really was like got into music to be famous or to be like the guy or no shit like that. So like just seeing that motherfuckers will do anything to obtain that. <laughs> like I kind of just put out a record. Like let me just show y'all like that this That's shit really ain't shit. what the fuck y'all y'all want to be. You feel like, like people appreciate podcast, like a, like your a, music more like than a, like... We got five Dooney Demons on you. What you going to do, nigga? You surrounded. We And we giving out pussy. And we talking to you real sweet and nice. I feel like this is a, a testament of a man's strength. You know, like sometimes it's the whole persona of a person and it's like gimmicky. But I feel mm. like when it comes to you, people really appreciate the sound that you have. Just even seeing the people that you collaborate with, it's not just any and everybody. Mm -hmm. It's very particular. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, that's, it's, it's ironic more than anything because I really, I really just make shit that I want to make with people who I want to make music with. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that people actually even feel it oh, and like it and respect God. it, um, is enough for me because I I don't make it for that like I don't make it at all I don't make um, I don't make my art necessarily for com for consumers as much as I just make it to make what I want to make I think in the music space we get into this um 
we get into this space where people uh feel the need to have input on what you put out mm -hmm. um versus like if you was a painter like picasso or some mm -hmm. shit ain't nobody go up to yeah, pablo picasso too. and be like hey can you paint something that look a little more realistic like that's just blasphemy you don't ask no shit like that it's picasso you take <laughs> what i can give you but with music because you sharing so much of what you do people feel the need to give input and <laughs> ideas and it's Bro, like somebody just came in chat and said a female woman who's a virgin and wants to wait till marriage to have intercourse, would that be a bitch? Bro, please go live your life, bro. I'm just approaching it like Picasso would. Like This nigga in the house pondering. Oh, like, bro, what are you talking about, bro? Do you even have any woman in your life? I'm going to just make what the fuck I want to make. This and is if my you heart. like it, yeah. Respect it. If that's you like it, like, that's good. Probably if you not. don't like it, shit, that's good. Because I was making them before anybody was listening to it anyway. Mm hmm. Are you like that in a relationship too? Like you know how some people say you can't change a person, or you know he is who he is. So don't try. This is bullshit, you know bullshit. he came in here like this. Is. Or do you feel YouTube like some people have changed YouTube you for the better, videos. or you've wanted to change? Um, I'm I'm very much so like I know what the fuck I'm doing until you show me something better, right? So like I'm I'm open to um to listening to whatever the fuck it is if it just logically makes sense I ain't finna be hard headed just to be hard headed you tell me some shit that's good for me or I want to look damn like you kind of change my perspective let me try that shit out real quick but if, if you're not really telling me nothing or no value then we ain't really talk about shit for real like give me an example of something that is of value to you that you actually have changed about yourself because somebody critiqued it um, a woman what's something that I changed like so much man so much like I, I so much of my life has, has been due to just um like has changed but just just due to women that are in my life like i'm talking not even like about in relationships but just women period right like, like right. from bro from my like because my team is all women right so mm -hmm. just for starters like from my <laughs> from my manager to my my publisher to my lawyer to my to pr like it's all women so like um just little shit. And then from chicks I spent time with, like, right, just like, chat, this type of shirt. They don't wear them type of drawers. Like, don't, like, just little shit. Like, like what type of drawers would you wear? Yeah. I mean, I was, I started, I started, <laughs> yes, I, started, you know. I started, I got, I started getting busy. I was a youngin', you know what I'm saying? You so was I wearing tidy whities yeah. I'm not no tidy whities no. <laughs> You ain't never had no underoos? No, no, no. Underoos with not Batman no, on the butt? Not no tidy whities nah. But just like, hey, like, like, little shit. All type of, like, little random things. Like, hey, like, <laughs> man sit up higher when you I'm so I'm like oh shit let me get my shit right like <laughs> just get me right type shit like I learned so much from women from the, from the movies that I'm into from the music that I like listening to from how to set a, set a scene up like it's like alright you got a chick coming through like she come through she's like why are you playing this shit I'm playing some street shit when she she's like nigga put on some <laughs> change, the, change the music up yeah. tell you who that sound like <laughs> Hey, now, now he's spitting. Now he's spitting. I, I don't know where I don't know where the underwear one was going, but see, now he started spitting when he said that. You know what I'm saying? One, one come over. How you set the scene up? How you set the scene up? Yup, man. Listen, tell you for the niggas that hate Steve, man. You ever put your own music Steve on? Sometimes it depends on like, everything else was chatting. Time, though, I ain't really, if it's like she a super fan, I'm gonna give her the whole experience. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, that's sweet. You got damn right. I might as well. Fans. I might as well. <laughs> might as well play it. You know what I'm saying? Do the whole thing. But if it's a chick I really like, want to get to know, like I ain't finna just put on my own shit. <laughs> Yeah. I, that's kind of cool. Like, what better way for her to know you by playing your old shit? But then you just said that some you just of them be lyrics. Though, shit. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did say you just be writing shit. So. I'm worried about how I feel. Hold on, we'll wait till you get back to the mic. Mm -hmm. What about foreplay? Are you a foreplay? They are, yo, they are horny in here, bro. They want to hear about the foreplay. They want to hear the details. Yo, chat, this, this chat, this is Dooney Land, bro. And this is this, this, this not even double X. It's like quadruple. One, two, three, four. It's four of them in here. It's quadruple XP. Foreplay type of person, or are you a. What about foreplay? Are you Look how she looked at him when he said it. Yo. A foreplay type of person or are you a right get to it type of person? Right get to it. She testing him too. She like, all right, do this nigga, do this nigga know what he doing in the bedroom? Are you a kisser, pussy eater, all of that? Or are you a... You hear me? <laughs> I'm taking his time. I'm taking his time. Damn right. Well, no, nah, I, I do it all depending on, on the woman, depending on the situation. If you if you really who I'm like, who I'm with, I'm rocking with you, this has been long term, shit, anything go. But 
we just started getting know get to know each other. I ain't finna like do the most in the first like night and no shit like that. I know I know some niggas on that type. Program. I was gonna say I feel like most guys try to like just no. in case nothing. Else. If you eat the pussy on the first night, bro. I need you to have some respect for yourself, grown young man. What happens after that? They try Tighten to do up. the most in the beginning, <laughs> right? Because no, they try I, to impress I, you. I know some motherfuckers on that type of time. Yo, for all the niggas that 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 see that will watch the breakdown of sex on Patreon. Listen, listen. Let me tell you something. One night stand policies. I, I'm mad. I didn't even differentiate that. One night stand policies do not come with all perks and benefits. I repeat, one night stand does not come with the diamond platinum membership of sex. I'm telling you right now. So I say that to say, yes, you do want to blow her fucking mind and knock her out the water, but you can do that without giving her everything that you would give in this in this, a woman that's more exclusive to you. I'm on some niggas told me like, the fact that I even had to say that is insane. Like yeah, I, I just met Shorty. They tell me all the watch they did. I'm like nigga, you just met that. We just met her at the same. So you just met her last night, bro. You did all that. Like I feel nah. like um, you should go with me with a girl like me myself. Like go crazy. Please ask her. I'm begging. Please ask her what like like me means. I mean, I, I literally just said what she said though, but she trying to make it seem like. It's, it's something that makes her deserving of the quality dick, DK. You know what I'm saying? It's not, we ain't call this dick, we call it DK. You know what I'm saying? But humbly speaking, it should be a standard that you, you know what I'm saying? You do what you do and you keep your sex at a standard. Like, no woman should sit here and complain that your shit was corny. That's just me. That's just how I feel personally. But there are still levels to the 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 level that you get from sex is the level of the, the, of the everything I, I mean we can really get into the detail but i'm just saying bro the first time <laughs> and like pull out all the tricks i agree but what, make see, that's, what, what makes you that different your final shot that's dangerous though right that's dangerous because i used to be a gung-ho type nigga right like first mm -hmm. night like let me just do it all some of them are not into you doing it all on the first night so you you feel the energy you like man I'm finna someone you throw them the fuck off they slip. doing it all is not eating pussy and eating ass bro they kind of scared well, like you don't you have just to do, give like, it all to do a good what's doing it all yeah you don't yeah you don't that that's a demon you can tell man just make sure the performance is nice mm -hmm. would you, you said do it all you said do it all I think it's good advice do the most would you eat her out if you just met her uh. Fans are taking a little bit too long. You had 0.5 milliseconds, buddy. <laughs> Do advice. the most. Yeah. Would you eat her out if you just met her? You had 0. Uh, 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0.0005 seconds. What if no. it's your dream girl? Nah. If the vibe no, no. is bad. Right, never mind. The way he said nah is believable. The way he said nah. Right, if the vibe is right, <laughs> took a little bit too yeah, the vibe is right. Fuck no, baby. Vibe is right. It all depends. I feel like it ain't, but ain't black and white. It's like some chicks I meet mm -hmm. the first night. It's like psh, so yeah, case whatever by it case. is, like case by case. Mm -hmm. Like surely just got it. Some about to make me want to psh, do it all. Right, like, and then right. some is like mm, yeah, mm -hmm. she's just good enough to just hit yeah, it and split it. Exactly. I feel like I anybody you it. fuck right now should be somebody you feel like right. you would want to do it all with. You can't just be randomly fucking people. Right. Unless you do that, just be fucking random. She trying to give him game. She trying to give him game. Yo, how they gonna bait him to say go crazy? And they be like, no, you really even shouldn't even be fucking anybody though. Damn, she trying to get a nigga game now. Come that on. Especially too now, just be fucking randoms. I agree with that. I mean, shit, I just got this. You know what I'm saying? I would have, I would have been on. You gotta hear me. You gotta hear me. No champion. The, the dick been exclusive. Yeah, that's a that's a filler. That's a filler for when you don't feel like being out there. You can just. So what is going all out though? Because you saying yeah, what's all out? It's all out. Going all out, all out. You you what? They want details. Chat, chat. They are yo. Yo, this 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 nigga is surrounded by by elephant tusks, rhinoceroses. So it's so horny in this room, bro. In love. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> by, well, it's I'm so in horny in this room. She said she no, asked you one. No, DJ, you what's you going on like out? Being out there, you can just. So what is going on? You know what? What Brent Fries is one, one protection is in his room is his glasses, bro. He he ain't got to make direct eye contact with these demons. They ain't, they they're not looking directly into his soul. That's his one line of defense. Loud.
though, because you saying, yeah, what's all out? What is all out? Going all out, all out. You, you, what, what's, what's you eating pussy, what making I, love? Yeah, yeah, no, but <laughs> what I meant, like, eat a booty, eat booty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, what I meant, but, like, go for it is like, yeah, eat the pussy, kiss. Yeah, like, kiss, kiss, like, shower her, like, shower with her. I, I Just love, go for I love, it. I love shower women I spend time with. That's yeah. like, that's like my shit. I ain't gonna hold you. Mm-hmm. That's like one of, one of the things I'm really into. I like to shower. Do you wear a shower cap? No, <laughs> I don't like doesn't that sound like a fir- a nice first time? You 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 know all of the foreplay and the shower and the the mouths and the exchanging mm-hmm. fluids. Do you it's like nice. sex in the shower? <laughs> It depends because the shower can dry out the natural. Mm-hmm. That's what I say. That's why we don't like it. It takes yeah. out the juices. I like I like the intimacy in the shower, but we could take that shit take out. Take it out, the right? Shower. Like kissing and washing on each other yeah. and cleaning each other's back. And, and, and that's and heads. that's real. I think the sim- the symbolism <laughs> of you of you washing somebody off. You know what I'm saying? Like like we was just outside, we washing all that shit off. It's very intimate. Mm-hmm. Like I'm seeing you for who you really are. We bathing together. You know. Mm-hmm. You gonna wash her vagina too? Like, like get in there. Oh, um, <laughs> is she comfortable with it? Oh, that's you so like cool. when a guy Morning washes your vagina? Angel? I don't know if a guy's ever washed my vagina. You know what? I, guys, when they wash <laughs> you, like when you wash yourself, you'd be a lot more like rough. Guys would be like too gentle when they. Yeah. Um, no, honestly, that's the truth. They yeah. do be like mad they're gentle. People like, think that men will be like rah 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 rah. No, but they're like you better because, scrub my back. You know what I mean? Get in like, there. Get in it. <laughs> get between the legs. But we not washing each other for, to get the cleanest bathe. We washing each other for no, the intimacy. It feels weird if it's not like a little more like. Yeah, you know how you wash yourself, you be I ain't scrubbing. Finna, I ain't finna wash my ass while I'm in the shower with a woman. You know what I'm saying? I will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do all that. Yeah, that's my you, you, you give her this light brush, then next thing you turn around and you like. Is <laughs> there <laughs> 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 clean under there? Like, you give yeah. you give her a light a, a three dollar premium little car wash then your shit you 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 twenty dollars maxed out when your when your turn comes. Would you, you like it? Send her a massage. Oh. 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 All up in the ass. Nah. Would you let her you shave you? Like... You've done it. I could tell just by your reaction. <laughs> he let her shave. I'm trying to think. Um. Mm. I don't. No, I haven't. You haven't. I, I've, I've never gotten that. That close with any chick, I don't think. Mm-hmm. Like to shake my Yo, shit. Yo, Jack, this is the funniest <laughs> interview ever. It just don't. Sh- I just get hornier and hornier, bro. It just get. It just get hornier and hornier. Bro. Do you shave? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You use clippers or a razor? I use the clippers. <laughs> Oh, that's Good. professional. Mm. You know what you don't look at. What are you doing in there? I feel like the clippers are safer than a razor. Yeah. I think so yeah. too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to be bald. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you need a little yeah, like, What you gonna do? Like slap it and put some yeah. aftershave on it? No, no, no. Have you had your dick sucked in the shower? Mm-hmm. Okay. No. Yeah. All right, chat. You know what's coming next? She's gonna ask him for a video. Can you show us a video of you having sex? Show us everything. Can we get every angle? Can we even get the 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 eagle's eye view. Can we get the under angle? Like, bro, what the fuck is shit? What the? At this point, we about fifteen minutes in, and I don't even know if there's anything left to ask. And you eat pussy in the shower and all that. All that. Oh my okay. god! One time I was sucking dick in the shower, and you it's like a steam shower. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Pass. I'm like, oh. yes. I'm gonna die. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not no, something that you do like, for a very long like, time. You're all right, and I'm like, oh, I can't breathe. But wait, let me finish. Right, I'm <laughs> choking, right, but I'm gonna die on this dick. <laughs> he, he more considerate. Than I, would, I wouldn't have been paying. It's all right. So last last part we was watching. I'm gonna literally put this on YouTube now, no. chat. Like this is crazy, bro. Last part I was watching. She tell my she 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 choking on it like like uh, you know sucking dick in the shower she ready to she was choking couldn't breathe and all that about to die. We need one of these. I, I need one that's willing to die behind the dick to w- reporting for duty. Salute me like she in the army like I'm, I'm ready to go to war behind it. Yes, I'm gonna die. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not no, something that she, she like, wanted. Like, she wanted bad. I can't breathe, but wait, let me finish. Right, I'm <laughs> joking, but I'm that's that's the type of determinism. That's the type of loyalty. That's that's the type of winner mindset I need. I don't need no quitters, man. I don't need no no spitters. You know what I'm saying? No, you know what I'm saying? They say spitters are quitters. I I need winners. 
Yeah. Yeah. His dick. <laughs> he, he more she would have drowned behind it. it I, would, I wouldn't have been paying no attention. I'm gonna keep it high with you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> true no, he, he, no he, but you can see that. I, I just couldn't breathe. You know, the steam was oh, really was thick. Shit. Yeah. He's like, babe, you want to, you're all right. And I'm like, no, I'm fine, but I'm dead. But I'm okay. But I'm dying. <laughs> How many times can you go in a row? Mm. You know what? Shout out to all the subs. But listen, bro, I, I keep saying I don't know how hornier it can progress to. I don't know what, what the, you know, and she always finds a new question. Case by case. It's Angel, some Angelie, you doing your thing. It's some, you know, when I spend time with and I'll and I could finish, but I'm still not done. Like mm -hmm. just keep going the whole time. Like done came out twice but still like just going because it's something about shorty that just got me like uh like i don't know why i can just keep going type shit Smart and there's other ones there's other ones i finish i'm just like yo get the fuck out like damn wow like, like not a porn. Porn. Yeah. i'm not gonna say head. no shit like that you'd be like uh your uber but in my head like a pawn i'm it's, like i'm already like thinking you about to what i gotta on. do in the next hour or two like that's, that's like wow. that's like watching a porn how yeah. do you finish, finish and you just and you're so so <laughs> but how do you get somebody out when you're ready for them to go who calls it a porn mm. um it's a lot that you can do it's a little tricky he's like i don't like want to give my secrets yeah, to people. i ain't about to tell my secrets so then <laughs> when i try to do it she gonna know you know what you gotta do you gotta get the fake phone call like you have to do something you gotta text somebody <laughs> Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah, that's how I. Work, man. I you think that's work? No, that's that nigga, yo, niggas work. used to spam that in high school. So it's, it's crazy. I ain't had to do that shit in a while. But it's crazy that she's, she's saying that at her big old age. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'll just be like, hey, I want to be more myself right now. Wow. You've done that before? Not, not on no mean shit though. Oh have you done that before? I'll be, I'll be like, really? Broke, broke you that girl's heart. Not on no, not on no, not on no mean heart. shit. But Did just on some like. Did she talk to you after that? Yo, I Real got like, nigga right there. It's, it's like mad shit going on. I got, I got a, the studio is the main one. Yeah, See, that's oh, real well, easy. Then, but I can't ever deny that. Right. Yeah, no, that's a, that's like, a, that, but that's that's better than saying I want to be by myself. No, but even so, since I'm always working, I just want to sit right, like and and just you being there is kind of disrupting the process. Like it's not even necessarily excuses. I'm not finna lie about shit I ain't finna be like it might be the truth that'd be your yeah, just facts like, hey, like I wanna be by myself design. right now it ain't that nothing against design. you but Keep like real. now like that <laughs> I ain't gonna I never tell the girl I just wanna be by myself <laughs> I remember I remember I usually do it I'd be like I used to do it a lot I'd be like uh yeah so what time you think about leaving <laughs> so, this, you call it su suggestive questioning yeah so uh what time you think? What time you think we leave? We got that shelter way that we shared that moment. Like I probably see you sometime this week, but I gotta get some shit, get some shit together. Wow. Gotta write some shit. Gotta answer some emails. Gotta like. It's I got always, shit to do, bro. Kicking the bitch out. <laughs> Yo, kicking the bitch out to answer some emails. Yo, she will never show her face to the to the light of the world again. Yo, it's always things to do though. That's mm -hmm. the thing. Even even when I'm, even when I'm when I'm in the moments when I'm, yeah, into I'm, when I'm having fun, there's I'm still some other shit that I could be doing. Be going As I'm sure it is for for, yeah, for, for everybody. Yeah, yeah. 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 You think you Check, can you still hear me be in, in the video at the same time? I might not. I'm gonna stop mm -hmm. pausing. How many? A lot? Or are you like a fall in love fast type of person? Or mm, is it I good? Can like, you hear me over the video? I'm one of them type of people where <clears throat> I fall in love quick and then be out that shit. Like I fall grand opening, grand closing. Right. Yeah. You're you like the beginning of a relationship. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite part of every relationship, the beginning. Right. Mm -hmm. That's the best part. That is Besides the best part. when you really get into the groove of it being a real thing and y'all on the same page and then you know, that's a good part too. But the beginning <laughs> is like, Yes, it's new, it's fun. You talk on the phone all the time, you mm -hmm. be falling asleep mm -hmm. on FaceTime. Mm -hmm. You know, you're excited to see Yo, each other. Like, doing special Yo, I, you know, it, it, it's kind of, I don't even mean to be rude, but how, how old is Angela Yee, man? Yo, Angela Lee, yo, this is crazy. You know what, it, you know what I didn't mean it's the disrespect, I'm just being rude. Chat says she's 46. She talking about falling asleep on FaceTime. 
I guess some shit just never changed. Hey, hey, get it in then, get it in. I guess some shit just never changed, Angela Yee. Some Thanks. shit just never changed. All the time. I've been in love so many times. I've loved, <laughs> I've loved so many women. Oh, oh you're a lover lying. boy. Is that really love then, if you're out of it fast? Absolutely. Or is it just like a lust? No, but he said it so many fun. times. Nah, it's, it's, Being it's, it's, in it's love. It's love, it's real love. And, and How was your love time? Two love, someone or two different things. Oh. Mm-hmm. Virgos are definitely Stop. lovers. They're are you lovers. gonna say lover? <laughs> I mean, I don't think if it so many times. So you loved every woman you was with, every relationship you were in, like you loved them. Yeah, I wouldn't be in a relationship if I ain't love them. All right, and then what? But what made it split? Since there was so many that you loved, like what? You, what is your? You know, at the same time, deal breaker. I, you know, I'm a Virgo, so it's, it only take, but it don't take much for me to be like, yeah, uh, you ain't I'm off that. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it don't take much. Like the little shit that another motherfucker might forgive, I'll be like. Nah, I'm cool. Like what? Cause, cause yeah, before, what's the deal breaker? Yeah, it, could what's... Be, it could be anything, man. It could, we could we could go out and it just be, well, not anything, but it could be. Um, I'm trying. It could be me trying to talk to you about some real shit, right? Because you could love somebody like you really in love. Mm-hmm. This this new shit, but you don't really see what you got up until you in some shit, right? Mm-hmm. So like, hey, man, like it's family shit is thick, cool work shit is thick. It's a lot of shit going on. Like I gotta rap with you about some shit, and Shorty really don't got shit to give me. So no, this, now this is a violent yeah. answer. This is a, this is a violent yeah, answer more so than my zodiac. You really cool to go on dates with and eat meals with and shit. But like when it comes to some real shit, I got to talk about you. Don't got nothing to give me. That's wasting right. time. And bro, listen, yeah, that's, that's nothing. To, uh, listen, that's nothing to do with your zodiac sign, bro. That that has to do with like she did not meet the standards of my ride or die or or you know for her to move up in the rankings of women I deal with or for her to be taken more seriously in my life. She didn't have the qualities I was looking that's, for. Yeah, that's that's, that's awful. Perfect. So shit like that'll have me like I'm out like I ain't finna just keep doing this shit. That means you don't really like somebody like that though, because I'm gonna tell you one time I was dating this guy and he came to the door. <clears throat> this is so weird, but I didn't like him anymore after this. He had on like short shorts. Who they were like No, they were like running track shorts, like track shorts. You know how they're mm-hmm. mad he came small, dressed like jeans. And I never liked him after that. I don't know what it was, but Damn, it was, that was it. That was it. I ain't gonna lie, guys, no. like how he it, dressed, but kind of. I was like, yo, what is he doing? Why would he open the well, door? Y'all right here, nigga. Don't wear no short shorts in front of him. Then again, then again, <clears throat> it depends how old the guy was. Do I see myself wearing these short shorts around Angela Yee? Find out in the next episode. She is not here for the like, I don't know it's, why it was. I, was I like the short shorts. I was a lot younger, but it, I don't know what it was about it that just bothered me. Was his how legs too skinny? Too right, how was his body type? Yeah, was it like I think athletic? he used to run track in college or something. He had some nice legs. But, but it was just weird. Yeah, he was very lit. Is that the way he was lift? showing off them legs, girl? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It'd be this guy that comes into the coffee shop and he'd be wearing short shorts like that. But his legs are nice, so we be standing back there like I That's usually sexy. don't like yeah, his chat. butt look okay. And get his your squat up, nigga. I didn't, I didn't know y'all looked at our legs. I'm gonna keep up. Leg press, nigga. Yeah, yeah, was fanatic. Fanatic. You gotta stop the leg muscles. And even the butt too. I look get your tree trunks up. Yeah, I love strong legs. You know what the best part is when you're having sex and a guy has like muscles in his arms and you holding his arms. Because I don't need your arms like mine. I need your arms to have like the shoulder muscles here. The shoulder blades. Yes. Little this? definition, mm-hmm. you need and some the definition. Arm, the, the this, mm-hmm. the this. Oh. they might as well put the taekwondo symbol in the sky and just tell me they, they talking about me. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> yeah. But like you were she saying, talking it's about so important fuck to you. be able to converse yes, with your she partner. Is. And it's a big turn off if I can't have a deep mm-hmm. conversation she wants to, I know, with you. I know, I know. If I can't talk about aliens, you niggas, for you niggas that can't even do eight push ups, we're not talking about you right here. If you niggas that can't even do three pull-ups, dead weight, legs straight down on the ground, pull-ups, we're not talking about you right now. It's not your time to shine. Turn off if I can't have a deep mm-hmm. conversation yeah, with you. Sure. If I can't talk about... Excuse me, is this, is this... Chat, what? Chat, what did I tell y'all? They're talking about me. Go deep, not why Y'all know my vice. Listen. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> yeah. But like you were saying, it's so important to be able to converse with your partner. Mm-hmm. It's a big turn off if I can't have a deep mm-hmm. conversation yeah, with you. Sure. If I can't talk about aliens and Jesus and the Santos and the all together at one time with you, I can't fuck with you, man. It got I get swear. Real. <laughs> all right, she's, she's it exaggerating to make a point, yeah, but you know, y'all get it. Mm-hmm. Y'all get it, Chad. Let's talk about some of your music, right? Mm-hmm. Now you said all my bitches know I'm leaving at some point. <laughs> right. Oh shit. Damn. It's always in love. Wow. Nothing yeah. lasts forever. I guess. Do they really know that? I mean, it's in the song. 
Dang, he's there and then he's like, oh, I don't know what you need to get. Wait, are you having yeah. That's just, oh, that's just. Yo, she so brought out the receipts, in chat. At that point in time, like. I'm not going to lie, like, your music, I'd be like, this is fucked up for a guy to say this, but I still like it. <laughs> I mean, because I be, Me too. Because y'all know y'all be feeling the same way for real. We do. Like, free game, chat. Free game. Mm -hmm. Y'all but I feel like we get way. judged more for that. Free game for you fucking nice guys or I want to tell her what she wants to hear. I want to be nice. I want to be... Yeah, that's definitely a double standard. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. But we can kind of do whatever the fuck we want to do and that shit fly. You don't think it's, that's it's, it's a lot of rules for y'all. Like, it's so many rules for women. What? It's fucked up out here. What it rules? Is. So many rules. You got to be freaky but not have any experience <laughs> yeah that's you the dumbest right. shit ever how am I supposed you to you gotta make money shit. but not more than me it's all type of little shit yeah. that like, you wouldn't like somebody shit. to make more money than you I don't give a fuck I, I, make, yeah. I make money I'm speaking for niggas like generally would you feel not weird if a woman shit. made a whole like let's just say she was rich as fuck fortune 500 CEO <clears throat> would that feel weird to you no nah, not at all <laughs> I feel like a man should be only thing that'd be weird about that like, like, like her when, lifestyle when would be just different me like she or would G or you, she a boss you know what I'm saying like, I feel like they should be happy that they're with a successful woman mm -hmm. I think that comes with that rela relatability too like I said I'm going through some work shit I'm talking to a chick and she ain't got shit to, shit to tell me mm -hmm. you can't even go back and forth on ideas that I got or what I'm trying to do cause she don't even right she don't even she don't do shit, shit. Yeah, like, she don't a, lot do of, shit. a lot of women mm -hmm. just I, I don't I mean these niggas are just bums too for me when a guy has like ideas for me we could go back and forth for mm -hmm. hours. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yes, yeah, I hate a, a goofy jockey ass man. That's one thing I cut a guy off for is like being an airhead or not being educated. Yeah. Or like you know, it's like it's That's such a turnoff. Yeah. How do you feel about spending money on women? Are you? Taekwondo has left the chat. <laughs> if it ain't a Uber or a rubber. Chat, for me, bro, <clears throat> if she with me, she good. If you ain't with me, you can't just you can't ask me for no money. You as as a woman, no disrespect. Like if you ain't my mother, I ain't no blood between us. You can't just ask me for no bread at all. I'm gonna take that as disrespect, really. I'm it's really disrespectful. But let's say, chat, let's say, let's say I'm with a chick, right? Like I'm riding where somewhere with her, right? I'm driving or something like that. I'm like, yo, you hungry? She's like, yeah. I'm like, all right, I'm hungry too. Then I got, I got us. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I've, I've had women take the initiative, and it was like, oh shit, like damn, like oh damn, she just paid for my. I, I like that because it's, a, it's a surprise. You know, not, the woman don't do that too often. But if you with me, I'm just, I'm a, I'm a, I got it type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, you probably ain't gonna be with me in too many circumstances where it's gonna be like some, some big bag on the table. You okay? You know what I'm saying? I mean, if, uh, spoiling I'm, somebody, buying back. Uh, what if they ask you for something? It depends on the relationship. I prefer, I prefer you to not ask. <laughs> like, let me let me do that shit because I want to do it. You know, what like what's some things like, that Brent buys women? I'm. It could be if I really fuck with you, I we go off. Like you, like yeah, that's that's my little yeah. Like if you out here, you representing me, motherfuckers know you with me. You ain't finna be out here looking bummy. That's for damn sure. But I ain't finna just go ahead and buy you some shit just because I fuck with you, like. Do you care how a woman dresses? Like, if you meet her and she don't got no style, does it matter to you? Hell yeah! <laughs> I be looking at all that shit. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't do the. I can't do the goofy shit. Like, shit what's goofy? Put together. I don't know. Just extra out ass shit, or like a chick that don't know how to coordinate her colors or some shit. Because like, my first love is drawing. Like, so I'm, right. I'm mm -hmm. real aesthetic. My that was my first love. Is always just just drawing colors and. So like I, I like looking at colors. I like looking at shapes and shit that's put together. I like shit to complement a woman's body. But if she's not the most Nigga. you feel me, um, detail oriented when it comes to her style of dress, like that ain't no like deal breaker or no shit like that. Like if she's the shit in other ways, oh like I sorry, right, I'll dress you. Don't worry about it. I'll dress you. <laughs> what about like head to? Let's say she wears head to toe Fendi or like head to toe Gucci or something like that. I mean, it depends. Fendi and Gucci both got some pieces, but I could. I like it feel good though when I can see shit I'm like I can push you on some shit like <laughs> <laughs> where did you learn how to do all this stuff you know this how they talking they listening he but I mean like no but I mean like growing up like how did you become so creative um I think both my parents is really saucy you know what I'm saying like my father he was he was an automotive technician he, he was a teacher mm -hmm. both my parents teachers so my father he was like driving Japanese imports and shit in like the 70s and shit just a oh, saucy wow. nigga you know what I'm saying my mom, she's from South Carolina. Um, she's like dumb smart. Like she ended up getting her masters in business from Johns Hopkins and shit. Like oh, wow. it's mad smart. 
Like both my parents are smart as shit. They talk a whole lot. They could talk to each other all fucking day. Mm-hmm. Um, my mom got really good taste in music. My father's real good with like, um, with like cars. My mom is good with interior decorating and shit like that. So growing up, it's just always just a certain way. Like, nigga, like go ahead, change before you step out with me. That that's my mom type shit. Like. Like so it's safe to say you got a natural <laughs> Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> you were raised like that. My, my parents is not no slouches out here. You got a nice mix. Meanwhile, bro, my mom had me out here with these embarrassing, certain embarrassing kid photos, bro. Like what? The, like I look back, like what was I wearing? Aesthetics and cool things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of stuff you get from I your parents too. Oh, absolutely. How hard is it for you to bring somebody home to meet them? Not yet. Um, it's easy. My, it's this fucked up thing with my mom. Like any chick I bring home, type shit. Like, <laughs> oh shit, bro, she just <laughs> that's crazy. My mom, she a Virgo too. She's um, never not you know, like you somebody that social like that. Like, yeah, she just she like she like you. You like her, I love her, type shit. So Aww, it's fucked sweet. up because I, I be going through them quick. So she be like, how song boom boom like. I'm like, like, oh yeah, we don't, we don't mm-hmm. speak no more. She's like, what? She just she just texted me the other day. I just said, happy Thanksgiving and shit. I'm like, nah, we don't talk to her no more. That's that's a wrap. We don't talk to her no more. We don't talk to her no more. Did she have a favorite? Um, nah, not particularly. Will no, your mom that. like you? Can't that. Nah, she. I don't got one of the mothers that's gonna take my side. She she's very much so like I'm a woman first. Like mm-hmm. if you really out here you dog and shit, I'm finna tell you my about your shit. My side type shit. <laughs> So yeah, remember I called my mama and she was like, would you lie for me? She said, yeah. I wouldn't, I'm not going to put her in that position, but I'm no, just, she, she I just had to check where your loyalty is. So your parents are still married? Mm-hmm. That's dope. Does that mean that like you look at marriage like this is something that you feel like you need to do? You know, they always say when people grow up, especially men, like mm-hmm. seeing their parents married, they, they're more prone to like want to get married. Eventually, at some point in time, I feel like I could be a great husband. I have a lot to offer women. But um <laughs> But for now, but for now, for now I'm out here. Twelve months. Also, also it's your hard to even like have them conversations with my people now. Cause they don't really they don't they don't do what I do. So they don't really understand like the certain pressures or the certain shit that I gotta do with it. They, they didn't necessarily have to deal with in their time. Hmm. So it's certain shit I, I take advice from them, but then certain shit I kinda take with a grain of salt because it's like my life completely different than y'all's but <clears throat> Do you think that you're great in bed? Oh my, back to sex. Back to sex, I, chat. I, I mean, I hate to answer some shit like that. Like, do you think you're great? In back bed? to sex. Like, you know if you're great. In I bed. know I'm great in bed. I don't. I don't. I'm like, I feel like I shouldn't have to. I feel like a lame nigga for saying some shit like that. How like, do you know you're great in bed? I just want to know because it works. Ah, uh, here we back to sex again, chat. You no, know, every guy probably thinks they're great in bed. I you just think to, every guy do think they're great in bed, and a lot of them suck. You have to ask mm-hmm. women I spend time with. I'm not like a shit talker. That's like not my. So the fact that you asked me, <laughs> I kind of had talker. to say some of kind of like <laughs> why I had to say this shit. Just I'm, like, a, I'm a shit talker, but like for real, for real though, like you just you it, it is like kind of corny to be like, oh, I'm I'm great in bed. Like wow, wow, like oh, I do I do this and I do that. Like it's just when you know you got it, find out. You know what I'm saying? Find out the find out the hard way. <laughs> find out the long way. Talking you know what I'm saying? Like can you tell when a woman comes? <laughs> yeah. yeah. How can you tell? This is how we're gonna know. Breathing, body vibe, things. body it motions, a, a whole lot of different shit. It can be like the facial expressions, and you, she can't control her volume and shit. Mm-hmm. It can be the shaking. It can be when the, when that That's part squeeze. tighten up. Mm-hmm. Okay, the grip. Yeah, like it's mm-hmm. little shit. Tell when that little shit tighten up. It's like, oh yeah, I hit that, hit that little spot. Then, then if like you, you like, I really got tested to see if I could do it again. Mm. So I tested to see if I could do it again. So I'll do whatever it was that made her do it the first time to see if she do. And I'm like, all right, like yeah, I caught. Chat, I just told yo, listen, I just broke this down, all this down on Patreon, even with more detail. I broke all that down. What do you think is the way that women come? I want to see, and then we'll go around the room. Mm. The Yo, way. If you were hornier, educating hornier. somebody like this is how you it's make a woman come, what would you say? It's getting hornier and hornier. It's case by case, man. That ain't the mm-hmm. same for all. For it's all not, case. but just give me just some. Said that, just said that on Patreon. So come on, Chad. I broke down ways. Tap in. Giving this shit away right now. <laughs> you on lip service? <laughs> you are on lip service. I want to. We want to know some of your. You better teach a whole bunch of guys out there. Give us one. One of the moves that you know. I'm gonna get her with this. This where he. This where he. This where he win the whole room. I'm gonna get her with this. <laughs> Ask her what her move is. Come on. That ass. Ask and, her what it is. Be like, what what makes you come? What do you like? What's your shit? All right, and ask then, Laura. And then do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, why shit. I said it's case. Now they put him on the spot. <laughs> case. Laura. She said, ask Laura. 
<laughs> Yo, chat, this shit getting real, chat. Makes you come. It depends. It's case by case, right? <laughs> no, uh, like, no, well, Bell sometimes out. I'm Bell not. Out. Sometimes, like, if I, if I'm really into the person and there's like that chemistry, like, I don't know. The if you mental ever, side. It's been the mental the side of sex. I've, the person, I'm just physically and sexually attracted to them, and literally, like, the moment we started, once they came, you know, once they started fucking me, like, five, not even five minutes later, like, I'm. Well, listen, 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 listen. I'm gonna give y'all niggas some free game right now. What she's basically saying, oh, y'all got hit with ads. All right, I'm gonna pause the YouTube video. Listen, all right, so the ads is done on stream. This is me giving out the, the G in this YouTube video. I'm gonna tell you something. Let me tell you something that you don't hear people, men say on the internet. They don't know what they're talking about. They don't have the experience. They, they're not really into the shit. They're not the sensei of seduction like Taekwondo. Let's, let's, let's get in there. We're gonna, I'm gonna talk some shit real quick. Let me tell you something. So you know how these men on the internet go, oh, you need to have a, a, a big dick. You need to have a, a, a big size dick and all that. And oh, if you nut fast and blah, 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 blah. But you wanna know what they don't talk about? You wanna know the one thing you don't hear them say or never talk about? How about the women that come fast? Huh? How about that? How about that? How about, how about the woman that come faster than you? You oh 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 you didn't know that though, right? Oh you didn't know a woman can come quick. Oh you didn't know she could come fast. Oh well, look 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 look. Don't believe me. Point in case right here. Before we even get into the details of how you do it, right? Can't even give y'all too much free game because I'm gonna make a whole video on this one on Patreon because this comes from the mental side of sex. Not just the physical, not the, just the penetration and, and all that, right? But Physically and sexually attracted to them. And literally, like, the moment we started, once they came, you know, once they started fucking me, like, five, not even five minutes later, like, I'm just wet and I'll come, but... I would even argue maybe even less than five minutes. But, 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 let's not get too cocky here, right? Let's not, let's not get too cocky here. But these, these dudes are not telling y'all that women can come fast. They don't know how the woman body work. They don't know how the woman mind work. How the mind connected to the body. In that for a woman, listen. That's why I be giving y'all. I be telling y'all stuff because I know what I'm talking about, bro. One of the things I always tell y'all: if you can't make her wet without touching her, you ain't setting it up right. If you can't make her wet by just like literally like her, the thought of you, you ain't setting it up right. If you can't make if you don't make her like tense, if she ain't like anxious when you around her alone you ain't setting it up right if she listen i'm telling you when you got it right a woman can be completely comfortable around you and still be nervous still have those butterflies in her stomach about listen by the time you even touch it you like damn this shit this shit slimy as a god damn and you don't need a big dick bro you don't only when you don't know what you're doing is your is your dick going to carry the sex only, only camera turn black. All right, thanks for telling me. If y'all know, this, this like the new way I use my camera is the better quality, but sometimes I have to turn off every 30 minutes. We're going to get back into the video. She might give y'all more free game. Like I said, tap into the Patreon. You can ask me, even ask me in one-on-one -on -one coaching. We can really get into it, but this is Twitch and YouTube, so I try to keep it somewhat PG. You know, somewhat, somewhat like calm on this, John. But it really get bad. If it's not that it type really of a bad. vibe at the moment. Um, Yeah, you know, I got to be on top. You got to start. You got to eat me out first. Uh, <laughs> if you want to make it a quick one she said that um, but, immediately you know, foreplay depends on the foreplay but i have different on the top i like it from the back not the asshole but i like it just to clarify i would like to because i heard that's the best <laughs> orgasm but um that's you know i don't know the best too i'm learning now i kind of <laughs> i do like it from the back when i like to come it's different orgasms in different spots man the c spot the g spot the a spot Mm -hmm. Or while I'm in it, like, right there, so if, you know. But the top is usually on my own, so I make myself come regardless. If you take into you know why she can do it on the top. You know, according to my calculations, that's about that forty-five degree angle. She she using you to rub that spot and rub it over and over. She gonna get her nut off either way. See, this is a woman that knows her body, that that knows that's very experienced in sex, so she could do something like that. I feel, you know, I want to give a moment of silence for the women out there who don't, who have not been slutted out, who have not been slayed, who have not been, you know, met a demon slayer. 
like yours truly, I feel bad for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Moment of silence in the arms of the angels, man. Long to make me come, I, 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 I'm gonna get on top. That's the cheat code. Yeah, yeah. that mm -hmm. is but, the cheat code. Because I feel like most guys, I don't have to tell Cold them, world. like a man knows your body and, and depends the man, Not unless you're messing with it. But <clears throat> you, we have to have some type of sexual chemistry first mm -hmm. before I can even, you the know attention. what I'm saying? Because you Some of you even argue, like sexual tension. If I'm not into you, it doesn't matter what you do, how you do, what side you hit, you can have a quick, I won't come. Yeah, that's why I said it's pointless for asking the tricks because it very much depends on like what you. It ain't no one size fits all. This the trick. This with this. It's I feel like a, right. I feel like a woman on top is uh, that is the trick. Yeah. That is a good trick. And what you yeah. do while she's on top. Mm -hmm. And I feel like talking matters a lot. Yeah, talking does matter for me. I'm a just told y'all this on the Patreon. So gave, gave when you a I whole know that off. whatever it is that I'm doing Tapping is Patreon, giving you what you need, that's gonna give it's me crazy. what I need, and eventually I'll get there. Um, I think that, again, that's the cheat code, the on top. But I don't know if it's just my body, but I can't really orgasm from the back. I think it's missionary is going to get me there. Like the right, yeah, you right. know, that right angle with the legs behind my head because I'm very fucking flexible. Patreon news. Did I, did I not say this in the, in the uh, Patreon video? And did I not give you all specific positions with specific ways and how to angle it. I got very specific in detail. Did I, did I, I, I mean, it, it's just so crazy that we watched this video after I just dropped a video called Everything Sex. And it, and mind you, don't get your hopes up though, because I only went into the practical, physical side of sex. I didn't get, I didn't even go in depth on the mental, the sexual chemistry, the sexual tension, and you know, putting it all together. I just kind of treated it as like a an advanced trainer course into like the practical physical advice i focused on the aspect touch here do this uh say this use it like this go in this motion I, I, that was more so that advice so, so yeah. i can just like that's yeah, my pelvis in there. Um, that, you know what i'm saying yeah. i could come them. from clitoral stimulation fingers mouth <laughs> what yeah, are you I doing to you too. Leon, i'm sorry because <laughs> i just noticed that my wow. bag is on a free game yeah. Yeah. Uh, anxiety. Anxiety. i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry no i wasn't trying to play with stephanie's i was like i just put a vision of my bag on the floor and i'm like pick my bag up Sorry, I'm sorry. But yeah, like clitoral <laughs> stimulation always makes me come hands, mouth, <laughs> penis. And when a guy's on top and he like grinds in it, like grinds to hit my like he's... the spot in my uterus, that always makes me come. Do you see, niggas, see, 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 she giving out the free game. Niggas don't know. Listen, going in and out. See, this is really getting explicit. I ain't even gonna get too much. This is the last time I get y'all. Last time I'm there. Going in and out, nigga, is not the same as that 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 grind, that friction. That's what I'm like. All right, I just gave y'all another one. My fault, Patreon gang. I ain't gonna go out too much. But I called it friction. It's that friction you creating on the top, on like the stomach front towards that direction when you're inside that joint. Which is why she said on top, and you could even put some pressure on her stomach, some pressure pressing down on her stomach, and then like use that and like like a scooping motion. Say say for the Patreon, it's already on the Patreon. Everything, everything is on the Patreon. All the all the breakdowns on the Patreon. That's the last thing I had to point point out because y'all be like, wait, what is she talking about grinding? What is she? You understand yeah. what I'm saying? And yeah. I feel like eating pussy is a cheat code. Yeah. Yeah. She's a big yeah. She knows what she's talking about. Yeah. Like that's, when a guy's on top of me and it's, weapon, it's like really <laughs> Why is taking it a, over. That's Why a is weapon, it a weapon? No. I can't I can't just be eating everything. That's a weapon. Was it you remember the first time you ate pussy? <laughs> no. No, really? <laughs> I have some condoms. <laughs> no. You could put a condom on it. You know, you got the slit that that's you could a, put on it. Weapon, I have man. a whole bunch that it was given to me by Koya. That's a damn. Put a condom on what? Remember, Koya gave us the um those condoms that you for the men to eat you out. Oh, the damn, the damn, yeah, the damn. I'm like a female condom. Yeah, well, no. there is female condoms. Yeah, but you never use the damn. Nobody's so cautious about it. No, when I said it's a weapon, I'm like, it's like you can't just be eating everything. You can't just be sucking on everything because she's locked in. Yeah, because she might fall in love. That's what I took. I took yeah. it as like a weapon. It's like, done. Yeah, and it's emotions done. might go crazy. What what one of women should be locked in when she's with you though? No, like not every not single woman. Them, no, right. it's done after you that. You wouldn't I feel like your ego was hurt if you fuck somebody and they wasn't like 
That's another thing. I like to have sex with women that like me a whole lot. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I don't I don't have to do a whole lot for them to you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, just what you, she, she, you know, when, when y'all, are you a lazy? The killer, the killers when you hit both. I like a nigga, like it don't take much. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I like, I like. But women it can make that you like not me. like somebody if they kind of like. Please. Yeah, lazy lover. Would, I, right. I might have liked you before. Maybe like, well, this was overhyped. But now, <laughs> oh, man. I, the goal is to, to take that like to that need that that yo. What is he doing right now? <laughs> is he? Also, is that his car? Is that him? All right, never mind. Phone rings. Is that him? I hate to, it be sounding fucked up. You got her. You got you got a life. I call it a lifetime warranty on the pussy. A lifetime warranty. You got her soul. You slayed her. You slayed her. I mean, I hate to say I really don't gotta do too much. <laughs> okay, it's That's good that you don't. That speaks mm-hmm. volumes. So, what about the first time you fucked a celebrity? What are you saying in the chat, you don't have to bro. tell us who mm-hmm. it is, but do you remember it? Yeah, hell yeah. So you just had a flashback. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you did. Yeah, he so tell us what happened. You don't want to tell us who it is, but tell us what happened. What you mean I beat? Like, did she, did she hit you on the... Like, how did it, how did it go oh, it was, down? It was very in-person. It was some in-person type shit. Kicked the fuck out. I'm going to tell this video drinking. free game on being in Then got to it. Yeah. How long did the fling last? shit like that. Psh, like four days. Oh. oh. Did you fall in love? No. <laughs> but it was no, fun. It wasn't Did you like hit that. it again? It was cool. Right. Would you revisit? No. Nah. Or you left it you there and that was back? it. No, I haven't. Mm-mm. Was, was it, it since you've been famous or was it before that? It was like before all that. Mm-hmm. So if you saw her again, it, it was like a, it was like a one and done. Mm-hmm. You don't think well, it happened four, if you're four days? Done. That's a long nah, time. It was, one and done. it was the whole thing wasn't four days. It was like a boom boom and then the last day like. Oh, yeah. a finisher. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. A finisher, so do you guys like weekend. tell their friends when something like that happens? Did you tell your people it's like? I, I, yeah. I mean, most time, if it's like <clears throat> women in the in the industry will pursue a nigga, you don't really got to do nothing. Like it's like <laughs> women like that you feel me that know what the fuck they want. That's bossy gonna come at you. You don't gotta really do shit for real. W demons. So is that what it you was like? on some like you, nigga? You gonna take me home? Like okay, like, <laughs> like let's go, <laughs> let's get like, it. Because I know you want to. So mm-hmm. right. mm-hmm. I remember a guy told me one time that he feels like um, he's like obligated if a woman wants to fuck him to do it. No, he I told me that he was like, because he was telling me about somebody he fucked, and I was like, "You did that?" Why? He was like, "I mean, if somebody's throwing at you, you kind of like, I felt like I had to do it, like I was obligated." Oh, you nigga, pussy, man. Yeah. <laughs> so that nigga, said that no. nigga got peer pressure in some pussy, man. Weak, weak man. Um, weak man. Absolutely. How do you do that nicely? Just be, be like. Mm. <laughs> No, that, is not nice. <laughs> that was not nice at all. Just be like, man, let's say. I, know, that's me, Chad. Like, I, I can't fuck I'm about tired. a one to fuck. I'm tired. I, I can't so force it. So you told your fuck. friends, like, I fucked somebody, like, you know, when that at first all. happened? Mm-hmm. Shit. Some, I mean, some of the homies, like, witness, they witnessed Shorty, like, come at a nigga. Okay. So it was like, I ain't had to say much. I followed through and finished up. Yeah. <laughs> finished up, like, yeah, I did that. He was like, yeah. So like, so yeah. so when they seen that you were hooking up with with this person, um, did they expect the tea when it was done? But yeah, how much do y'all talk to each other about uh, it? Uh, they absolutely, know, see, they like, yeah. 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 like these 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 my partners. So naturally, it's like, all right, I'm finna tell you what happened, type shit. Yeah, like yo, what, what, yo, I see you. What's what Shorty told me? Yeah, but that's what, how they what, what do that for? Like, any, it could just be any. Her time. her impression of uh, right, guys right, right. talking about. Does it matter to you guys are like us? Yeah, we tell each other everything. We tell every detail. We be like, okay, girl. So first he came mm-hmm. in here and then he did this, then this happened. Nah, I ain't do y'all hear this chat? Do y'all hear this chat? Do y'all hear this? So what do you think happens when you hit every detail? Not only let me put y'all on something in even an elite level of game. Not only can she throw you extra pussy because her 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 home girls are gonna listen, and whether woman will admit this or not, now her friends are gonna low key want you. Or even if they 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 spread around like this nigga got great sex, this he's him. Oh, this is setting you up for free money. And then not only that, bro, like like. Being like I said, it it has less to do with the woman and more to do with you, because it's like it's like what is my standard? You know what I'm saying? What what performance am I putting out? What 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 what, what am I creating behind my name? Steve calls it spreading your virus. Shit, why you call it? It happens. 
Oh my said you eat the box on the first kill. Never. Like, but you can't tell all your friends. <laughs> Not me. Well, no, just your close no, friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you might. You know, somebody else might invite you to. Can't tell them it's too good either. As soon as you <laughs> leave, girl, you got a big old no girl. The dick was little. But I even gave you know uh, eating eating pussy advice on the Patreon as well. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be getting it wrong. You know what I'm saying? It so, wasn't that good. You can't either. say that. If I got to lie to a girl about That's not my your friend. Lover, I don't need to talk Tell to her. Tell her. Yeah, no, your best right. friend probably would be the... <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm, for sure. No, Wait, did they just say it? Did they just say it? Hold on, hold on. Leave. Oh, girl, he got a big old... No girl, the dick was little. It wasn't that good. You can't either. say that. If I got to lie to a girl about That's not my your friend. Lover, I don't need to talk Tell to her. Tell her. Yeah, yeah, no, no, your no, best friend. Every guy's worst nightmare. I don't know why. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, bro, your dick could be small. You can still have great sex. Y'all have one group of friends. One time I see y'all, and I catch y'all again, and y'all got a whole nother group of friends. Nah, that's young girls. Yeah. You talking about them girls? Yeah, young 20s. I meet a group of chicks, and they all cool with these. My sisters. I hate that shit. mixy shit. Bro, and then goddamn, I see them like. I see one of them like <laughs> three days later, some shit. A week later, I'm like, how your girl? How your girlfriend doing? All my girlfriends, I know them at least seven years or more. Mm-hmm. These That's girls good. I know for seven years. Mm-hmm. And look, me and Laura, we know each other for over 20 years. Yeah. yeah. No, y'all, y'all real friends. I'm yeah, you know, like we yeah. have long term yeah. relationships. And then I'm in a rare yeah. room right here. We actually, the three of us, we started this podcast together, all yes. three of us, from yes. the very beginning. Yes. It was just the three of us. Yes. Yeah. Every time I met you, you were real friends, though. Like, you were people you were yeah, like, Yeah, Andrew's a great people. friend. Yeah. 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 And I, first of all, and I, so, you know, I've had guys be mad that I have my friends with me a lot. Like they think that I spend too much time with my friends. Cause I also feel like if I fuck with you, you gotta fuck with my friends too. Right. Like, you know, if one of my friends like beats with one of my homegirls, mm-hmm. I will tell him like, yeah. first of all, I will make a guy apologize. But you also, you work with your real friends. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it ain't just like- That's what I'm saying. For her, it, it's not the same as like, just some like random, like her friends is like then in her lifeline. Like, like, like at the end of the day, don't force me in your group. Don't. <laughs> But if you her husband, then I, I that's a little different because they all over the crib. Like you, you, that's what you taking on when you dealing with her. Y'all just but, cool. It's like you know we get money together. We cool. Like me like, personally, like, that come in the picture. They gotta. They if gotta we ain't that serious. Respect. I ain't gotta like, know your this friends. is your work environment as well. Like you work At with all. your friends. My people like make this whole shit go. You know what I'm saying? But, y'all serious, but sometimes it's hard to work with your person. friends, mm-hmm. right? What do you think about that? At times. Because it's times. hard because you got to separate friendship from work at times. Really yeah, good. I've had to fire homies before. Like, we still cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no bullshit. Like, we, like, yeah. We're still that's cool. when you know it's like, a real friend. Yeah, sometimes yeah. Ange you know. got to look me in the eye like, you're not going to cancel, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm going to be like, you know, like, like that. Because I ain't playing with you right now. <laughs> and sometimes, yeah. especially if they my real good friends, I'm like, I got to yeah. fire you. Like, I fuck with you. Guys. I want us to still be friends. I got to fire you. you right. Know yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know, because I would have conversations. Like, I would I tell Laura, fire, I'd be like, look, a lot of people we got to talk about this. Right. This is what we need to do and move. And, but if so a person is really cool with you, you never even and know also just on a professional like, level, you got to be able to have those conversations. Communication. Because right. I'll yeah. never tell somebody something that I also don't think is for their own good. Right. No, really, that's, no, now, now they're giving out business games. So we went from sex to business. Because, like, people that don't understand a uh, professional level or, like, how serious it is, is really nothing personal. It ain't no beef. It ain't no malice. I'm thinking business. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably calling something out or speaking on something or handling something a certain way from a place of principle, power, success, um, a high standard. And it's nothing personal. You know what I'm saying? I have it's conversations. Really personal. Like, I would tell Laura, I'd be like, look, we got to talk about this. Right. This is what we need to do. Move and, but if a person is really cool with you and also just on a professional level, you got to be able to have those conversations. Because right. I'll yeah. never tell somebody something that I also don't think And if you can, bro, you, you basically put right. love before That's your, your future, I feel bro. like if you're saying it, it's to be constructive. Right. A weakness. Not to be it's really weak. Right. Right. But how many chances do you give your friends? If you can't give somebody constructive criticism, bro, you're, you, you have to check yourself. And you're probably a people please. You probably have a, a low self esteem, a poor sense of self. That you you were taught growing up that honesty or being direct or conflict is some innately bad thing. Conflict is not a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? About one Def- and a half. Definitely, definitely more chances than the average <laughs> yeah. motherfucker. You feel me? Because they're your people. You're not finna just do them like anybody else. But mm-hmm. like at a certain point, you're not about to fuck my shit up. Yeah, at the end of the day, you feel me? I wouldn't do you like that. Fuck me like that. Mm-hmm. So, what's the plan for the new album, Wasteland? When it comes out, are you doing a tour? <sighs> man, uh, the works. Man, I'm taking over the world. Yeah, Let's I can take see over. that. Though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm excited mm-hmm. for you. Like, yeah. I'm definitely a fan. I just love the like 
even like what song is it that it like switches in the middle it sounds like the whole song just changed uh price of fame yes yeah. with tyler the creator oh gravity yeah. i mean yeah gra- i love that song yeah appreciate you i'm excited man i'm gonna take over the world for real. what do you think about how your music first started and where you are today like the progress of that man up until like i'm, I'm gonna keep it keep it keep it a band with you i didn't really realize that i was It's the wildest shit, because this might have happened maybe like a couple months ago. I didn't really realize that I was like, oh shit, like I woke up, I'm like, damn, niggas famous. Like, until a little bit ago. Mm-hmm. I don't really, um, I be with the same people all the time, doing the same shit all the time. So that shit really don't hit me until I walk out on the stage and it's like, oh, damn, oh, all these shit. people it's, out there. I'm it's like, 100,000 people here. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. Man, it was just, so it's just, fire. it's kind of weird. I didn't think I was going to make it this far. Um, that wasn't my goal. Like I said, that wasn't my intention to like to do the whole thing. But now since I'm here, I'm like, shit, I ain't finna like half step, you feel me? What was it that made you realize that? Mm. When you woke up like, damn. It happens every once in a while type shit. Like, cause I'll, I'll remember and then forget again. Mm-hmm. But like, it'll happen if I go to a club or if I go outside or if I go perform at Coachella. That was one of them times when I went, I performed at Coachella with King. I seen all them people out there. I Ooh. was just at the house with the homies and shit. Now I come here and it's all your motherfuckers outside. Like crazy. Like what the mm-hmm. fuck? Where y'all came from? Type shit. <laughs> and you have a song with Drake and the Neptunes. Yeah. Like when does that happen? Oh, <sighs> man, God, man. How did that even happen? Um, um, the homie from um from Other Tone hit me and said he wanted to do the interview with Family and P. Um, so I did an interview and shit. Then I was talking to P. He was like, man, like, come to Miami. Let's get in the studio. Like, cool. Went to Miami, did it. He was cooking up. I had been rapping with Drake about doing a record. So once I finished that shit, I'm like, bro, it sound good on this shit. So I hit him. I'm like, bro, hop on the record. He was like, bet. Sent that shit over like next day. Damn. 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 That's, that's lit. <laughs> Go yeah, work out yeah. mm-hmm. And I'm like, bet, let's get to it. Drake just brought some Philly artists. And then, like, we haven't heard the new album yet, but Alicia Keys is on there, Drake, too. Drake, W. Yeah. Drake, Chad. Yeah. He been working, yeah. man. He, Drake um, been getting it in. So that was another thing that was natural. Um, I got a I got a call from, I think it was her assistant or somebody that was like, yo, Alicia Keys want to call you, want to rap with you. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> I'm chilling out of my business up. and shit. I'm like, Alicia Keys, I'm like, cool. Oh, tough. But then she called me, she's like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, what the fuck? Like, this is Alicia Keys. I'm like, look, I'm like, what's up? Are you sure? She's like, got something I'm working on. Come through the studio. I'm like, cool. So we set the date up. I got to the studio. Um, she played me the record that I had got on. It was smooth. It's one of hers. Um, then I was like, yo, I'm working on the album right now. Like, I got an idea for you type shit. So I got in the studio with her, played it for her. She was fucking with it. She hopped on it. Tough. Like mad simple, everything just been real. Tech, just music organic, seemed like, tough. Just off the it, love it, type like, shit. That's third. And even endorsements. Yeah, hell yeah, mad shit. Mm-hmm. Like you just say, you pull up, so let me show you something. You show yeah, some hot shit. <laughs> that's tough. You know, I gotta, I gotta keep it calm and collected and shit. He's, he's jumping up and down on the inside. Remember? <laughs> All that. Right. Mm-hmm. How do your parents feel about it? Oh uh, man, they living life, man. They're, my, <laughs> they're cooling, big cooling. My mom, she um, she works for me, so she runs my um my foundations and charitable charitable don- donations so i have this foundation that's called freedom to breathe um and right now like our main focus is like um it's, it's so much shit we're doing so i do a lot of things with boys and girls club maryland food bank um pretty much everywhere we go we just find a different thing to tap into i got this um this property in dallas um because i bought like mad property in dallas so i got one spot in dallas that we're basically using this transitional housing for women that just got out the penitentiary. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, so we got a lot of stuff that we do. My mom, she like the coldest, man. Like the coldest. And I know you also help out women entrepreneurs too. I saw you had like a- Yeah, indeed. We got the um, we got the Show You Off grant mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that we do every year around Women's Month. So we find like 15 entrepreneurs um, that are black women and um, invest in a startup. That's why with the Twitch Mom show. Yes, that is that's awesome. amazing. I appreciate you. Yeah, you know, if you ever need us for anything, you know, with lip well, I'm already knowing, man. The, 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 <laughs> you already know. Churning. I'm right there with it. <laughs> no, it's, it's it's so much, man. Like, so I'm seeing more and more, like, man, like, fame, whatever, like, like all that shit is cool. But, like, knowing that, like, damn, niggas can make a difference with what I'm doing. Like, I might hey, as well go as hard as I can. Impact. That's what I love about you, too. And people don't know this, but, like, you just come to the club on some chill shit. Mm-hmm. Just you and, like one of your friends or you know and just not even give a fuck and just be on some chill shit 
Not but I don't know how much longer you can do that. <laughs> right. So I, for as long as yeah, I can. Enjoy it. <laughs> as long right. as I can, man. Where do you see yourself? Like, what are the goals for Brent Fayez? If you had to say, because clearly, like, I promise you, every few months, this shit get higher, higher, higher. It's amazing to, to witness. Do so you want some ice? Oh, let me get a little bit of ice. Oh, for the ice, my nigga. That's a like interviewing with y'all, man. Moment. You seem very excited. Yeah. <laughs> We can't tell him. So to see off the ice, he, man, I like interviewing with y'all. Because <laughs> you like being around yeah. women. Yeah, always. But like, what do you see for yourself I, if you had to say I, like, I man, these are some things I haven't accomplished yet that I'm hoping that is going to happen. Um, Like people to work with, things that... All right, Benjamin, I'm about to pause you real quick. You know what I like about you is that you're really a creative artist artist. Like in every sense of it. I feel yeah. that from you. I love the process. I just like just making things, whether or not it comes out. I just like making shit. Like um, before this album, right? How many songs did you do but that you had to choose from? Because you're always working. It was it was a lot. It was, it was, yeah, it was a lot. But I just I really just picked the most five ones. The ones I was the most excited to finish, I just put them on the album. Mm -hmm. And who like contributes as far as input to help you make decisions? Um, I do a lot of things on my own as far as like picking a song, the creative direction or whatever. But um, my executive producer of the album, his name is Freeze, Jonathan Freeze Wells. Killed that. Um, Jane, Ty, PK, like the big homies. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's like a really small team. And then as far as creative, like I got a whole creative team. So it's me, uh, Zoo, Mark Peace. Bitch, Bobby I probably Banks. won't put the whole interview on um, YouTube. I'll probably put the Lone them, them bits and pieces. Do you sell songs to other people? Go out of the game. Uh, not really. I haven't really gotten too much into the songwriter game, but I've been working with Dream a lot, so I want him to really teach me that shit. Mm -hmm. um, for the most part, they said the best way to to really go crazy as a writer is to get locked in with a specific artist that you like writing for though mm. versus just selling tracks just for anybody for any and everybody so you just find you like whatever artist it is that you really like working with that can deliver your records proper mm. and then that's how you really get into that are you gonna sign some artists okay, to yourself too yeah i got i got some artists i got a roster uh no, it's, it's trey amani juni oh the, on Amber the album Olivier. yeah mm -hmm. yeah all the home team is it hard for you to be an executive God. and also be an artist um, I mean everything got its challenges But ain't nothing I can't handle mm -hmm. Do know? they take feedback well? Because sometimes it gets really personal Like when you have to be like eh, That sound right Not surprisingly if anything it, it, it took a while for me to learn That I had like a lot of um, I had like a lot of power in that space Like it took me a while to learn that Like yo like people actually Really give a fuck what I gotta say mm -hmm. So I'll be mad quiet Motherfuckers be like Nigga what the fuck do you think? Like tell me what you think How you feel nigga like, So I started kind of like Really um Really kind of raising my voice in that space. I really, I kind of just, I be cooling all the fucking time. So motherfuckers be like, nigga, like, you really the niggas. What the fuck you think? I'm like, well, for starters, I think. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for starters. Well, according I to my I gotta ask you this, because, like, we, we've been talking about how cool and laid back you are. Do you come loud? Oh, my fucking God. And you know what? I said at the beginning that uh, she would find a way to just outdo every question that she did, and she still she still found a way. Wow, Angela Yee, you might as well take him to fucking unclaimed diamonds and get him a ring. That was, that was, that was so, we went from being an executive to do you come loud. That was, that's what came into your mind. No pun intended. That's what came to your mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, I don't mm -hmm. believe like, this. Yeah, Cause okay. everything is so nonchalant. So like, yeah. He said he saves all of that for when yeah, he needs to pull it out. <laughs> like, well, scare the shit out of somebody. Like, Jesus you make a loud Christ. noise, like, like a grunt. <laughs> Yo, they talk? asking for a chat. They like asking shit. for a chat. Like they shit. want it. Okay, so you definitely save it for the bed. Mm -hmm. like, like, what, what kind of is it? Is it grunt or yeah. it's like a. Oh! <laughs> yeah. 
Yo, know, they asking for it, Jack. It depends on the on the how, how it's oh, yeah. fix my camera. <laughs> okay, so they are be they are begging for it, Jack. Oh my wrong. god, it's something like this. Uh, if it's something yeah. like crazy, it's, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> no, no, listen. No. It's a difference like, between the, it's a difference between your eyes rolling in the back of your head tight joint. It's a difference between like, I just um, got one off. <laughs> I like to give the aggression. I don't like it like receiving it. You yeah, ever like slap a girl, choke, yeah, I mean, slap? A <laughs> little slappy slap. No, you say don't do that. What, what are we talking about right now? Like, <laughs> like, know, yo, like, yo, Brent had to call the ice up. Yo, what are we talking about right now? Y'all, y'all getting too much. Yo, chat. She listen. She subtly like, shooting her shot girl, to these things, choke. man. Yeah, I mean, who ain't doing that? No, Angela slap Lee, slap. Lee, just no, let it be free. Do what, what are we talking about right now? Like, I was thinking, I don't know. Like, of course, regular, right? of course. <laughs> <laughs> Did you come shoot or drip? Angela, Lee, I'm a gentleman. <laughs> what? Know, like, I was thinking, I don't know. He's like, that's regular. <laughs> she always finds another question. <laughs> Did you come shoot or drip? She always finds another question. How does she just keep coming up with these? No pun intended, bro. You need to, yo, they need to lock her horny ass up. Angela, I'm a gentleman. <laughs> oh my God, get that, get that demon away. That lock this behemoth, this, this monstrosity up in a room where the key is thrown away and only I have access to the room. Where do you like to come? <laughs> Huh? Where do you, you like, like to come to see it? Shit, wherever. <laughs> that she was a gentleman, sure. so you'll come in her face. Of course, the gentleman does what the woman asks. Good answer. Okay, that's a great answer. Because a bitch like me don't ask for it on my face. So <laughs> even if you got lashes on, <laughs> Duh. if I don't got nowhere to go, yeah, we can fuck <laughs> these lashes up. Yeah, that's not. Now if I'm, on, wow. if I'm on my way somewhere, I got to keep my head. She been she been quiet this whole time and just come out there acting crazy. It up so that you know what I'm saying, but <laughs> have you ever made a woman squirt? Yeah. Do you like it? Is it like an eagle booster? Be or so you like what the fuck? That's messy it. shit. Yeah, it's, it's very messy. messy. You know what I mean? That's how I feel about it. Mm -hmm. It's just a mess. It's messy. It's like sometimes if I I might do some do something like that, get in one of them situations, one of them uh, sticky situations, and <laughs> literally, and I gotta um. <laughs> And I gotta fly out the next day or something, and then I come back to the city. I gotta stay in the hotel because I'm like the crib is just. I don't even want to sleep. Yeah, that's either. something that you do in a hotel anyway. No. You gotta put like a towel. They actually have a mat for um squirt. I have so one on my bed. Yeah, they have a mat. No, I have a water. She just said I have one on my bed, bro. She just gave. Me, she just basically said, said, you know, what a very she wanted a, a, a very convenient gift versus the oh, a waterproof mattress cover. We know what you're gonna do. Oh my god. Yes. Get you and we want to know about it. Loop. How Tell often would you say you masturbate? Um, I don't. I, I guess a pretty, pretty, pretty regular amount. I think it depends on if I. Chad, she just did it again. I, yo, every question at this point, I'm not. Even, I'm not even gonna react loudly or with with energy. I'm. I just had to give her flowers. I have to. I have to lean back now, because every question. And they just be so random. They be they be extremely different and just wilder than the last one. She just keeps them coming, bro. No pun intended. Do and we want to know about it. Move. How often would she you say you coming. masturbate? Um, I, don't know, I, I guess a pretty 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 regular amount. I think it depends on if I've been sexually active. Mm -hmm. You know, if I've been doing a whole lot of uh, fucking. Oh yeah, and I ain't finna really just be. You know what I'm saying. Sometimes but having it, sex makes you want to masturbate more. More, yeah. I know it does with me. <laughs> After I have sex, I be like, yes, I want more. Uh, you well, know. Now you got so. help. Shit, <laughs> you got to use them arms to forearms. You won't be tired, and then you could be like, Ugh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let me know what kind of girl is the, the end results. I think I might try this shit out though. Just, <laughs> I think, and go, I think and go, you are. And end up going right back to the good old school sock. I might try Trust it one or two times. Just with it. Make yeah. sure you use some nice. But lube. how do you even wash the shit out? Where does it go? So that's yeah, disgusting. You, 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 you could use some. Use a condom. Do you, you want to take it out? Let me show you. Because that's what I've been thinking. I was thinking the same thing. You not inside of it, and then it's the same when you wash your side. You're doing the sock out. 
He took the thought right from my head. I've you been reused? thinking that for a long time with this. Wait, device. you be reusing so your sock? But I feel like you should use a condom. He got that sock on right now. That shit look like something was on it. Hey, you haven't made a mistake. Actually, it's dishwasher safe, guys. Said I'm not even pausing. It's just getting crazy. Yeah, yeah you put it in the dishwasher. You can wash it. it. Yes, it goes in the dishwasher. Socks. Putting the pussy in the dishwasher is crazy. But it has like a back. Into but the back. ew, the dishwasher oh. doesn't get That's inside. Of, I, I'm, I don't it has know. a back part. It's the same it. way we clean yeah, our I pussy. Think it has- All right, this might be too us. We might have to skip this part. Gonna end it at. I believe. Cause they like showing. <laughs> like yeah. I don't yeah, know. Man. Was somebody was out here the other day? Yes, I've taken a woman's virginity. Okay. Did you enjoy it? Um. Yeah. Or was it kind of whack? Like, she don't know what she's doing. I got to be all gentle. No, nah, it was fun because she's mad cool. You know what I'm saying? Was it, it was like a Absolutely. To this day. Yeah, that you got to be the first one. You pop- so it was only one person? Versions tap off the fences. Nah. Um, a couple. Mm-hmm. Was it hard for you to, like, Versus get in there? The Did you have to really take your time? Um, yeah, it was a lot of just being cautious and making sure that she wasn't in pain or nothing like she that. She was comfortable. Were they so in love after? Um... Yeah. <laughs> if a woman before. tells you she loves you, you just say it back. No, I gotta love you too. I ain't finna just say that shit. Good so if you. a girl tells you I love you and you don't love her, what are you gonna be like? Thank okay. you. I'll be like, that's crazy. Wow. Okay, okay. Wow. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Well, I'll say some. Crazy. I'll say some. Even Jay, I feel Jay, like y'all lying to make her feel good in the moment. So it's a minute moment. Shit. Reputation is like I, I can know, say I that she won't fucking believe me. I, a chick would be like, I love you, and I'd be like, love you to death, and she'd be like, fuck you, nigga. I'm like, I just told you I love you, like. <laughs> to death, like, you death. don't gotta add, add that. Back. That sound crazy. I'll be adding a little sarcasm and shit on sometimes, but if I really love you, I'm like, I'm not finna play with you. Like, I love you, I love you. Yeah, I can't say it back if I don't mean it. Because I've had guys I tell mean, me they I, love me. Anybody I'm like, tells me I love you, I say it right yeah, back. I love you, I love you too. Oh my and, God. Yeah, I'd be like, oh man, that's so nice. The trick is you gotta say love instead of love. Mm-hmm. Love you too. I love you too. I love you too. Okay, because I'm. I be like, because love and love is different. I get, I get <laughs> Angela, more. I get I more. I love you. yous from women that I haven't slept with though. Like I get more. I love yous from like women I don't. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> Damn. So that you fuck them and they hate you. Yeah, they trying to say what? No, some women I've never like. For example, I get, I get, I get all the I love you. Angela, you he, just, Angela he keeps throwing shots on the side. He just not even. He not even. Like paying them Jones and shit. That's just my friends and shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's okay, genuine. That's sweet. I a little evil laugh. Yeah. All the time. Have a, yeah, I'll tell my friend. I tell people I love them just on a, like, because I love, I just, but when it comes to a man <laughs> and like he's telling me I love you, I'd be like, and I don't love him, I don't know how to say I I ignore the text or in the conversation, I'd be like, uh, You're cold blooded. No, I don't, I'm not. You ignore it. A nigga say I love you. you I say don't nothing. say wow, crazy. You just be like, oh, be like, oh, that you. No, I'd be like, oh my god, I've I mean, ignored a dick pic I'm before. Scared. <laughs> I that ignored must a dick pic. Must have been a terrible too. dick. Yeah, no, it just was unexpected, and then the guy hit me back like an hour later, like no comment or. <laughs> oh, and what did you say? Uh, I was so like, sorry, I'm just seeing this. <laughs> you know what? You know what would have been even more hilarious if you didn't uh, write back for mad long, and then he wrote no comment, and you just hearted the picture. <laughs> <laughs> put a thumbs up thumbs up put, oh thumbs up yeah. I like it with a thumbs, thumbs up. up I don't know I'd be weirded out with that they like if I mean you not y'all, one- y'all, yo y'all niggas better wear your helmets off the sh- in the streets man they out here destroying y'all that <laughs> Or not even because I don't even send <laughs> no, me. No, 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 no pun intended. But when you send me, on. yeah, I had I was on live one time and um one of my friends had me like I was on her live then I went on my live and you know people follow you and go on your live and somebody was requ- she's like add that person they just came and came I with added and they were jacking their yeah that's on live that's like chatting no no voice in chat I don't know you the opposite of that happened when I went on the Miami the kid in prime time live not many bitches DM me it was like send this shit bro girls and shit. We locked in forever. Talking about all the dick pics y'all get. <laughs> yeah. We get a lot. Yeah, when I kick it with niggas, don't nobody talk about sending dick pics. Yeah, guys, they be not gonna admit it. I'm gonna tell you something, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm starting to pick. All I I talk as many women as I spend time with, many women like my own girls and shit. All y'all be talking about all the dick pics y'all be getting. We get a lot. Yeah, when I kick it with niggas, don't nobody talk about sending dick pics. Yeah, guys, they be not gonna admit that to you. I'm gonna tell you something, guys. Lying to each other about a lot of shit. I'm starting to feel like niggas be doing a lot of capping, bro. Like, ain't no way it's all these dick pics floating around. Ain't none of y'all niggas sending them shit. They send them. Didn't I say that about? Didn't I say that about OnlyFans though? I said, yo, somebody lying, man. You niggas is not calling OnlyFans women whores and sluts and and shaming them and all this shit. And then they they making millions a month. Something they adding up. The math ain't math, and two plus two is not showing me it's four. It's giving me eight. So somebody lying, man. 
Never that's, sent a dick picture. That's not even on no cap. A lot if, since, not since like high school. What if she ask you? No, nah, I'm not doing that. Somebody with and she miss you because you're on the road, you're on tour, and she's no. I'm famous, bro. I ain't saying no shit like that. Is your high school dick the same as your current dick? Nah. <laughs> that was crazy, chat. Nah, I, I never, I never no sent shit dick pics like often, but I, I sent Where them less in high school. For dick pic, no you bullshit, can... chat. I, I used to literally clown niggas for doing it in high school, but after high school, that's when I started like not giving a fuck about that shit. Because the chick, a chick, my dad asked me, like, "Yo, do such and such," and I, but sparingly. I'm talking, about I can count on both hands by how many times I did it. For you niggas that send that shit so much, bro, I gotta know how to make her want it, bro. I gotta know how to, you know what I'm saying. Like, don't just be send sending out news and shit like that. You got to protect your name. You got to protect your brand, my nigga. Send it. Nah. Send a high school picture. Yeah. I literally, no. like, no. never no. sent no. news no. in high school, bro. No. That was not my no. thing at all. TBD. You know what's crazy? Not to say I didn't like it when, when women, like, sent me news. I just didn't, like, I didn't care. Like, no bullshit. Like, women would send it anyway, check. I always been like this. No bullshit. Woman would send me stuff, and I I would never send like news back. I never sent like I was never on that in high school. After high school, that's when I started like not giving a fuck as much. But during high school, I was never like I don't give a fuck. Like, and then they would send shit, and it wouldn't really like it wouldn't really excite me. Like if I, if I can't have if I can't get it in person, I don't what you teasing me for. That's how I always felt. That's how I still feel. I don't even really want to be teased too much. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Throwback. My homegirl well, was, was like... I still got that shit no more. I <laughs> no, it ain't even... It ain't coming from a place of getting exposed. I just always thought it was weird. CBD <laughs> is no longer to be determined. <laughs> it's throw it's throw back back thing. My friend was like, bitch, send him this picture. And she sent me a picture of, a, like, a pussy, a random pussy. She yeah, like, that's send him you this you picture. Send, you don't send like, you're not going to recognize someone's yeah, pussy. Send, yeah, you're nothing. not going to recognize it. If a girl was like, send you a pussy pic, you wouldn't know if it was hers or not. It depends on who... Over there. If it's like uh, this, some shit I've been getting. I'm like, I know, I know this ain't just shit. You know? Right. It's if, it's, if it's something new, I ain't f- I'm, I'm not finna ask for that. No way though. Like that. I'm finna. I like. I like making videos and just like I'll send that. Like some shit that we was in together. Like that's what mm-hmm. I'm finna send. Okay. You like to videotape? I do. Me too. Do you put your face in it? Yeah. But you're famous. famous. Put your face in it. Put your face in it while your face is out. But I'm not just I'm not just incriminating myself. We in this together. We all come out. You got a lot more though at stake than somebody randomly. That's all I don't have nothing to be ashamed of, though. Okay. (laughs) Like some shit like that come out, I'm like, "Eh, I did it. You know what I'm saying? It's me. Do you perform differently when you know you're taping yourself? Um, naturally. Yeah, you know, if you notice I gotta really show out. You make different facial expressions. Um, are you aware? Want, like you they want to ask for the video. They want to yeah, ask for the video. Aware. Same thing as I guess if you got them, if you taking selfies or some shit, like you finna right, right. selfie. Yeah, I'm, hey, I'm finna, I'm finna get right. You looking mm-hmm. at the camera like, yeah, yeah, I'm this me. I'm good. I'm yeah. him. <laughs> Have you ever been embarrassed? Like you perform badly, like in bed, and been like, shit, I don't want her to think. Um, before I do that, because it, it's happened to everybody. Everybody didn't like really ain't like, damn, I really could have knocked that shit out the park, but I really ain't. But sometimes it's actually kind of funny the times where you don't think yeah. that you perform might have actually really been the shit for her. So it could be a time where I felt like I really wasn't doing like what I could do. Mm-hmm. And she but was she like, loved remember it. that time, boom, boom. I'm like, I was half asleep that day. <laughs> like that was really the shit to you. Like, and then the times you think you really kill it, she like, yeah, whatever. Was kind of boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't do it. Have any time. woman deaded you before? Hit it and quit it. But like, she was the one that just ain't called you back or nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's like life. That's shit. Just where your home is, man. It don't matter who you is, no matter if you they if you spend time with a whole lot of motherfuckers, it's gonna be somebody that goes to you before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's just like what it is. Not, like, I not, got a man now, or if she's pregnant by somebody else, mm-hmm. it's oh, always shit. something like that. It's always usually she she, <laughs> she got a man, but if she got a man, she'll double back. She they all do that shit. <laughs> she fuck around, get a nigga, and she you fairly feeling herself for a little bit, and I'm like, oh yeah, she got a nigga. That's why. Right. And then she fuck around and come back like like with you got in a fight. Yeah, something. And they can always come back to you, right? I don't hold no grudges, though. I'm very much so like, hey, <laughs> you feel me? It's cool. It ain't work out. What happened? Yeah. Like, I'm I not can see why no girls grudges. like you. No, I'm very, I'm calm, generous. man. I ain't finna like, I don't own you and shit. Like, you was fucking with me. Now you were not trying to confuse your situation because you got a new nigga. Go ahead, live your life. Have you ever had a stalker? Yeah. Mm-hmm. A few of them. Mm-hmm. A few of them. That shit is scary, though, more than it is like funny. Right. What did they do? Bro, they'll fuck around and start hitting you from block numbers and shit. Mm-hmm. Contacting yeah. your peoples. Um, uh, that's funny shit. Popping up places they think you're going to be she at. She calling you on some screen type shit. Order? 
Nah, I never got that bad. Okay. Nah, right. thank God. <laughs> Well, listen, July 8th, the album is coming out. I know everybody is anticipating this. We didn't get an advanced copy, so we only heard like three songs mm-hmm. that are already out from it, but I'm excited for it. Mm-hmm. I got you. I'm going to play all the early. I got you. Okay. Oh, that's right. We need to do a listening session. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming through. I was like, is he really ever going to come do the show? I was actually kind of nervous to ask you. Cause I don't be like to ask people for stuff. <clears throat> I told you I've been trying to come on. I said that when I seen you, I'm like, I've been trying to get on in. You have not. We've been I am. okay. I've well, been I appreciate it because I do think that like super talented, more than most people. I will say that somebody that I really do enjoy listening to, and I also feel like you know we wanted to hear you talk your shit. Mm-hmm. No, I appreciate y'all having me. <laughs> it kind of matches up to exactly <laughs> our expectations, <laughs> right? I hope that's good. <laughs> <laughs> take it how you want to take it. <laughs> but lip service, make sure y'all pick it up. July eighth, Wasteland. <laughs> What a, what a crazy reaction, chat. What a crazy reaction, man. I'm going to close that out. Dojo to the moon to Saturn. We leaving them up. I ain't even know what's going on, baby. <laughs> <laughs>